In today's video, we will show you how to create an Earth fly through in your video with Ace Movie. Welcome back to Ace Movie channel. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe our channel and ring the bell so you never miss a video. Use the Google Earth. We need to use Google Earth to create an earthquake shot like the one in the beginning of the video. But before that, we also need a screen recording software. You can use a built-in screen recording tools that come with the system, like Windows Recorder. Or use the Ace Movie Recorder. Just click the record to enter the Ace Movie Recorder interface. Once you set up everything, open the browser, go to the earth.google.com. Then we are going to do some simple settings here, go to the left, click the laser button, tap the clean to turn off the caption in the map. Click the laser button again to close it. Create the fly-through. Here I'll show you two methods to do it. The first is to use this little man button here. Then turn on the screen recorder. Drag this man to the position you want. Then the earth will slowly begin to move to the position you want. But the downside of using this method, it is hard to ensure the preciseness of the location. The second method is to play backward. Well for this method, let's find the exact position here on earth first. Zoom to the right size. Now turn on the Ace Movie Recorder. Then click on the map in the bottom right corner. The shot will be zoomed out. After that, put that recorded video into the Ace Movie, and right click the video. Tap the reverse, we can get the video we want. Make the video. Open the Ace Movie, and import the footage we need. First, add the fly-through video to the timeline. If you use the second method, remember to right-click the video and click the reverse function to reverse the video. Dragging the timeline to a proper length, and use the split button to cut the unwanted parts of the fly-through footage. Then use the crop and zoom tool to crop the image to a right size. Just keep the edgeness of the interface out of the frame. Then we add the footage you shot to track, and place it above the first clip. Adjust the duration of the footage, and let the start of this footage close to the end of the fly-through video. Then go to the animations in the left side, choose motions, dragging this fade in to the start of the footage. Let's play the final result. Alright, that's all for today's video tutorial. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell. Thanks for watching. See you next time.